So I've been driving my Futos a lot more here because, while well, I am anxiously waiting at the time of this video and this recording, anxiously waiting for the Chipperick, I realize that I've got, you know, a highly customizable, very drifty, slidey car that's actually faster than the Chipperick, and I might as well fool around with that. As you can see, I'm, I'm waiting for a, a lobby to populate the trench too here to do a little bit of racing, but I thought, hey, let's let's slide around with the, the Futo in the meantime, you know? It's it's got a lot of Chebarekness with a little bit more class, shall we say? Although, you know, the the whole point of the Chebarek is that kind of that, you know, it's delightfully tasteless, that kind of thing. You know, we're good with the cardboard on the hood scoops and stuff like that, you know. Although I don't really know which way I want to build it up. Do I want to build it up like the cardboard, you know, someone throwing it together randomly or do I want to do it as you know an actual attempt to build up a proper racing Chevrolet with all the proper wings and everything probably you know considering it's only 145k probably gonna do both and uh, that's a little message for you there Rockstar if you if you make it affordable you know people will spend more money at that was cool and I, I hit a, a light bulb that's why that failed People would buy, you know, Fudos. I have two Fudos, one in each account. One, of course, my initial day Fudo, which is, uh, of course, you have to do the, whenever, you, whenever possible in the game, one of the rules is you have to do a, uh, a TV uh, homage car. All right, here we go, or movie homage car, whenever possible. And this one, I actually kept the colors as they were originally and just put some body kit on it because, you know, they were interesting browns and tans. And I think I, I was planning on doing my Chebrek that color, so that, hey, Let's, let's see how that looks. So here we are, we're gonna actually do some racing now. What to trench to, what to drive, what to drive. Yeah, let's go for it. We're gonna do our, use our try hard Sabre uh, Turbo Custom. Where's my clothes? There we go. Ready to play, who else is in here? Let's see, can we zip around? Okay, so there you go. That's an interesting look, kind of. Okay, we got wow. There's some. There's a lot of a lot of custom stuff going on here. This could be um, it'd be hard to say who's gonna win based on clothes here. But looking at the looking at the, what we got, we got some Duke Deaths. They're expecting to crash into things. We got one Piss Foster Dominator. He could be a problem. And oh, we got one Ellie. The Ellie doesn't have the performance that you'd hope. That's yeah. It looks cool. This is the kind of thing where I almost feel like I came into a lobby where these guys had agreed to use, you know, not the top three cars, and I've taken one of the top three cars. Of course, the Piss Foster's in there. So the Piss Foster, but the Piss Foster is, ex the Piss Foster Dominator is extremely hard to, uh, to drive. So, and I have, oh, here, thanks, Ellie. I think he, I think he messed himself up worse than he messed me up. I recovered pretty well there. And I made it through the gap. Now, if you can make it through the gap, you'll notice everybody else is bunched up behind me. And this becomes a very quick thing. And this is, I don't think I see another car for the rest of this race. I have been experimenting going down and up again. But classically, I've always gone this way. Go right, go around. You don't have that jump crashing into the, the ramp here. You break a little bit. Boom. Take it up and around. Yeah, we'll be there. Up and over. And one lap down. Looking, the, looking at the map here, because I can do this because I'm not driving currently. Nobody. They're, they're, yeah, they're not, they're not nearby. I mean, the Custom Saber Turbo is one of the big three. I mean, it's the Yosemite, the uh, Piss Vosser Dominator, and then the Tabor, so Custom Saber Turbo. And the Custom Saber Turbo is, you know, less than a second behind it. Less, I think it's tenths of a second behind every, everything else. And it has the best handling of, well, I don't know, it's the best handling. It's got very good handling. I don't know if it outhandles the Yosemite. I know it has better brakes. Never driven a Yosemite, actually. It would be interesting to get a Yosemite at some point. Especially for this character, because I think it would fit this character's idiom very well. Although the Custom Saber Turbo, I mean, this, this car is gorgeous. I really do love this one. This is kind of a signature car for Rusty Jack here, my Rusty Jack character. Come on. 
Baboomf. And I think at this point, I'm thinking it's gonna be over, but as I recall, the, the host set this to three laps. Did they? Yeah, three laps. I'm like, three laps. Wait a minute, hold it. Nobody said anything about three laps. Now, this is trench too. I can screw up a lot of different things here and, and lose the race. I mean, it's just, you know, the choke is always there. It's the, the, the potential for the choke. Here, you can crash coming off there, landed it. Should have probably tactically gone up and over, just, you know. But instead, I took the gap that bought me some more time if they don't know how to do that or can't, or get stuck in there, so, you know. As you can see, I'm now way ahead of the competition. This is a dominant win. Which I gotta give credit to the custom Saber Turbo, but also I, I have to say I think I wheeled it pretty well. I mean, you could spin out any muscle car, with perhaps the exception of the Dominator GTX, pretty easily. And of course, the problem with the Dominator GTX is it's just not very fast as far as top speed is concerned. I'll leave you. I'll leave you to head over to Ruffy's channel for that. Ruffy1322. That was interesting. I was, ran through and then teleported back and spun my wheels. That that's just odd. Now where's everybody else? What are they doing? Let's go here. All right, the burger shot. I, that is what I do like that car. Oh dear. See, this is what can happen to you in there. I wish we could paint it different colors. You're really stuck with the yellow livery. Kill your hunger. But I do like that car. I've got I've got a burger shot someplace. I, I have a regular one, painted up in maroon. One of my favorite uncles had a Chevelle that was uh, that was a maroon color. That was a cool car. Zoom! Badoomf. Yeah, he's married to my, my mom's first cousin, so. Wheel that puppy around the corner. There you go. Let's just. Screeching and howling. Will he make it? No. Oh, that's heartbreaking. One second away from completing the race. I don't know. Let's see. Will it come up as a DNF when we look at the thing? That's so frustrating when you're right there. Not fast enough. Yay! It's so good to see that thumbs up from Rusty Jack. DNF, the Burger Shot DNF, and the Dominator. There's a Dominator and a Pisswasser Dominator. Both those, they're hard to wheel. The Duke of Death and the Ellie took second, and I beat everybody by best lap by at least three seconds. So that'll tell, show you right there. Custom Saber Turbo. It's a little easier to wheel than the uh, than everything else. Which one are we gonna pick? Which one are we gonna pick? Aha! Here we are! Stunt! High Flyer! Very good, very good. High Flyer is one I can usually do pretty well on. Or very badly. It is a true troll track. This, this one will troll you. It will troll you to death. Talking the trollification of a nation here. Come on. Let's launch this. You want more people? They're not coming. Hey, look. All right. So Vlad and Lupin is coming from the weed crew. Which I guess in and he's out. So we only have base crew, yeet crew, and poop crew. Poop. All right. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Do it. Do it! Finally. So what bike to take? That's the trick here. 
I mean, I can take my, my uh, glitched gargoyle with the oversized rear wheel that'll do 171 miles an hour. Supposedly. Supposedly. Not the bagger, not the Akuma, the Batty. I mean, really, the, the 400's another good choice because that has a high top speed. Yeah, let's go with the Batty. You know, I've had good effect with the Batty. And it handles well. And it has, again, it has a very high top speed. Buckets of weirdness all around. And in the spinning whirl of the worlds here, who's gonna win? Um, I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't think he won, but. You know, we always talk about when you see female characters, whether they're really females or not. We never talk about, you know, are women playing as guys so they won't have to deal with crap. So you still, you never know. Okay, we take out, we have a good, good start here. Get past initially, now we got Shotaro. Shotaro's gonna be tough to beat. These guys have all taken pretty good bikes. That looks like a Hakachi drag off in the Atsa drag in the distance. That's gonna be tough. I'm definitely at a, uh, I'm at a disadvantage. Oop, bumpity doo. Did I wreck him? Nope, nope, we all recovered. If you're a little bit off, I'm a little bit off, a little bit off. Pull it back in, pull it back in. Okay. Down to fourth. There's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of bikes going here. So, I mean, your fourth is not that great. Top five is always possible if you've only got about five, you know. I hate this place. That is, watch this. Yeah, there it goes. That particular jump. I always try to lift a little bit before that jump. So that... I'm not overshooting it or out of control. Come around here, but it's hard. It's hard to do. Pop a wheelie. We're staying with the leaders, so that's important. Come on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna match the Shotaro. That the Shishiro. I'm Not gonna match the Shotaro. Try to say that, match the Shotaro. It's, it's, you really have to focus. I'm not going to match the Shotaro coming through here with all these curves and narrow bits. But I do have a better top speed. Oh, what happened there? See, so must have taken the uh, the turbo a little bit off. So now it's just me and the Shotaro. Now he's playing Bumpy McBumpmeister a little bit, or is that an accident? I don't know. Try to cut to the inside here. Whoa! Yeah, he hit me there. Or I hit a bounce, something. I'd get a Shotaro for Rusty Jack, but I mean, if I want a Shotaro, I'll just play my main Vince character, you know? Lap two or three. It is two million dollars. I mean, I really can't justify that. And, I mean, you know, he does have, Rusty Jack does have the Glitch Gargoyle, which has the highest top speed of anything in the game, including rocket cars. If you, if you get a long enough stretch and you're wheeling with that bouncing glitch kind of thing. Thank you, Bruffy1322. That, that, his, uh, his Gargoyle video has been out long enough. I think that's kind of knowledge at this point. Not trying to definitely it's an interesting uh, video to watch though. You should really if you're watching this, you've gotta be watching Breffy. You just do. He passes me here. Ying! I think that was that was the end of him. Yep. So I've got first. Now normally the default on this is two laps, so brakes! So if it were, if it's two laps, I've got this in the bag. Nobody else close by. But remember, what's the host doing? For reasons which really I don't understand. Three laps. So as you can see, we're just we're we're 
free sail in here. There's nobody else challenging us. All we have to do is be technically good for a while here. Don't make any mistakes. Don't have to even be particularly fast. You can't be slow, but I mean, you can't, you don't have to, I don't have to go full willy, wheelie on this, or willy, or wheelie, or either of those, you know. You don't have to go full wheelie. Just have to maintain myself. Okay, I'm down through the final turn of lap two here. Final turns. That's like all kinds of one big turn. But it probably doesn't. And really, all the turns are really a bunch of really infinitesimally small straight lines just changing direction, but that's neither here nor there. Finally, the final lap. Way out ahead. Everybody else, people might be closing on me, but I mean, they're trying to uh, recover from their mistakes. Mistakes which are too big to recover from, unless I make a mistake. No foreshadowing there, right? <laughs> oh, come on, let's go up here. Boom. Make this jump straight as an arrow. That's good. Bring it back in a little bit. Now you can see they are closing on me, I think. You can see they're, they're more lined up behind me now. So, I mean, those are faster bikes in theory. Certainly easier. Here we go. Now, this looks like I got it pretty nicely done. Boing! Boing, what the, why did it bounce? Why, what did I do wrong there? Why did it bounce? And now I'm down to fifth. First to fifth. I'm actually planning on editing this and putting an unvoiced over cut of this because, you know, and just submitting this to Ruffy's random bits there to, uh, for the choke of the week for the Choking Hazard podcast. And I choked this one completely even worse because I was trying too hard. Just cementing, I believe, his last place. First to last. That's how you're supposed to do that. From winner, winner, chicken dinner to did you even show up? Not a chance. I have not a chance in the world of catching these guys. And incidentally, you know, because this isn't a live voiceover because I didn't have my mic. My mic is still screwed up. But the, um, need to get a cable for it. But at the moment when I did that, the words I, I said were, no, 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 no. But it, it, it didn't, didn't save anything. It didn't really, you know, you yell, no, 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 at the screen. Guess what happens? Nothing different. It doesn't, it doesn't affect anything whatsoever. I know, I know that's surprising, but it's true. Jane Winter 223. Is that the, the chicken the bib overalls? I don't remember. Jane Winter. Alright, and here we are. I'm on the DNF timer. I go from being first to being on the DNF timer. You finished fifth. There's nobody else. Total chokage. Total chokage. Choked it, but bad. Yep, there you go. Now, that's an interesting can movement. For, never mind, we're not even gonna go there. Yep, didn't even have like the best lap. You know, I had a middling lap at best, but I was winning. Winning right up to that point. People lost more than six seconds on the, you know, from the best lap to worst lap there, and that's just what happened. And now, what are we gonna do next? I don't really have a vote here, because none of these things really appeal to me. Why is that you never, you never see the tracks that you like, you know? It's always like Graton, Vespucci. The wave. The wave is a troll track. It's an interesting troll track in that, you know, if you don't if you don't work the waves exactly right, it just bounces you all around. And I think you'll see a little bit of that too. 
Hardy Boy is joining. He's on call. There's only four of us. Things are starting to wane here. We've, we've lost the momentum. There's not a lot of people playing. Party Boy, rank 420. That's too perfect. That's just things you didn't really notice. And we've lost the chick in the bib overall. So, what's going to be a launching session? Let's see, custom baddie. Do we go with that? There you go. Is there an echo to that? In my headphones, it sounds very echoey. That's weird. Could be my headphones are getting buggered up. But here we're going with the glitch mobile. Popping that wheelie right out. Didn't really get a lot of the glitch effect there. Glitching along here. I, I don't know that you need the wheelie to make the glitch happen. I think it does have just a higher top speed with the with the wheel on it. But obviously you get higher top speed from wheeling on this bike no matter what, so. Some pretty good dice and then back and forth through here. I'm, I'm holding my own. Holding my own with, you know, a Kachu Drag and a Shutaro. It corners pretty well. I mean, it says, I'm sure it doesn't corner as well as a Shotaro, as you'll see here. It's fine, because they got through there a lot quicker than I did. Ooh, had a break. Screwed it up totally. Boosh. Oh, the jump angles on these things are so critical sometimes, and they're not obvious that they're that critical. So now I'm last. That mistake put me in the last. But I've got the glitch gargoyle. Can the glitch gargoyle help me out here? Third, how did I end up if somebody had a problem? Party boy left. So I got to go up to third because someone had to be quit. The, the heck with this stupid track. So hey, top five is always possible, right? Yes. I guess I know I'm ripping off uh, Bruffy's line here. Rip him off. I mean, yeah, well, I'm crediting him. I mean, you know. That's one of Bruffy 1322's mantras. Top five is always possible. That's actually one of the, the pieces to G Fred Bingo. When he says top five is always possible, you get a piece there if it's on your bingo board. I think it's part of the drinking game. If you don't know what a G Fred is, Google that. That's some fun times. G F R E D. As I just wheel this bike around, desperately trying to... I'd say that was a, that was a good proper tip, but I wasn't in the lead doing very well. I was, I was competitive, but falling behind anyway. So, I mean, you know, this might not have ended up much different had I not completely choked that. Are there any other chunks? I think there's at least one more. Potentially something you'd call a choke, but I'm already in last place, so you know. Thank God it's just two or two. Not a favorite track of mine. I mean, I, I never select the wave. The wave's not my friend, you know. Boom. Okay, we'll zip around here. I mean, the bike's not handling badly. It's it's going pretty quick. It'll be interesting to see how far off I am on times and overall lap times. If I could get a clean lap, I don't think I do. <laughs> but I remember something something with the big blue waves. I don't remember what. 
Like I land on one, it just stops. Something like that. Let's see what happens here. Now I'm careful to line it up this time properly. Yay! All right, that worked out well. Wheelie it! How are you supposed to do that? I don't know. I guess you can't use full power, full glitch gargoyle power wheelie, or otherwise your, your timing is off. You have to coast it over. Do the old up and over thing. And now, ying, ying, and oh no. Brumf, again, twice. Twice, that's a double choke. Now, my goal is not to even get a position, it's just to finish. Will I get to finish? That's kind of a question. Because the instant second goes through that, uh, maybe the instant first goes through, uh, we'll start the DNF timer. Interestingly enough, the last time, just, well after this, I did do a, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did do a, uh, a look at my stats, and it still lists the, the fastest vehicle I've ever driven at like 338 kilometers per hour as the Pariah. So I've never achieved the full capability of this bike. It, it might be a very specific condition to get the true high speed out of it. You know, a certain amount of angle on the wheelie for a certain length of time to really build up the speed. You need a really long straight. You know, it might be just. An interesting anomaly where it's not very useful in races, as this has not been. <laughs> okay, so when second finishes, we start the DNF. So am I more than 25 seconds behind uh, second? Nope, no, 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. And I wasn't 30 seconds behind second, but so we did finish. Last place. last place we finished in last place and that was i think this might have been where i said -na 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 okay yeah sure taro yeah that makes sense yeah that wasn't i didn't have the slowest lap i didn't have the best lap but i did not have the slowest lap the slowest best lap my best lap was better than the the diablos custom <laughs> that what that was okay and what did I do here? Did we do another race? Rally? Why would I even select rally? Oh, I was, that's right. I need 25 wins and sports cars, so this would be a chance, and rally's evil. By the way, this isn't one of them. <laughs> I remember this now. This was, this was just... Rally just simply sucks. It just does. It's painful. Come on. We're hoping for more people. We're not going to get them. At this point, I'm trying to think what car should I take. Because if I take the um, the Elegy, maybe I'll at least have some kind of handling prowess. I don't have a proper rally car in this account. I don't have I don't have a, a uh, well. I mean, I have the armored Karuma, but that's not competitive. Took the Pariah. Because the Pariah at least has the top speed. Maybe it's dominant in everything, even rally races. You'll see that this car has weaknesses. Okay, step out to an early lead. Remember, you don't have to take every jump, but there are some you do. This troll track. It's a complete troll track. How Bruffy doesn't hate this one more than Vespucci, I really don't know. Vespucci is a troll track with the jumps that are designed to put you in the water. Then you get to this, but it's it to the dirt. I mean, I realize, yeah, you know, the dirt's the whole point of the rally. There are some points here where the way things undulate, yeah. The fact that I'm still in first after spinning out. May, might tile this one nothing but chokes. Although I can't really say it's nothing but chokes, so I did win the first one. The first race was chokeless. And after that, I made up for everything. It was just, you know. 
Okay, through here, cannonballing through at a high rate of speed. I could just keep it straight through the, okay, back on road, the roads are good. Again, it doesn't handle like an LED. Right, bounce. Oh, come on. You can't, you, oh. you can't make this car go straight. I mean, it's just, when you peel, it, it's just, you didn't last. First to last, again. Pariah, not the best choice in dirt. Okay, but then again, he had his issues there. He, back to first, and now uh, it's been out. This is a choke fest of epic proportions, and that's that's the deal at Rally. You know, Rally, this track is the one reason I'm considering buying, you know, either an Omnis or a Tropus Rally or something. Probably the Tropus Rally. I mean, how can you not like, you know, Wheeljack from the Transformers? That's got, you know. The Lancia Stratos. Lancia Stratos is one of my favorite cars. It just looks so cool. Now we're still in range here. We could do something. We could pull something off. They've both wrecked. They've both multiple wrecked. I am back in first. This is like just concentrate. I am concentrating. It just, the tail wants to come around on this car. And I'm still in front. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I'm in a tree. And that's the end of that. Oh, come on. Oh, you got Son of a... If I didn't get clipped by that stupid pink spinning trolling pile of garbage. <sighs> well, cruised to victory. Cruised to victory. And I overshot the checkpoint. This track, I think this track was purpose-built for the Omnis or something like that. It was like purpose-built for one car to do well. And not this one. But I don't have an Omnis or a Tropos Rally in either account. I don't have a, a regular Karuma in either account. And a regular Karuma is great on dirt until it flips over. That's one thing. I and mean, you can see that in the, in the handling on the, the Armored Karuma is like that. It just, it's flippy. I think, I think, I'm gonna guess that the regular crew is more flippy because it's lighter. Should I have taken the armor crew anyway? I mean, that might not have been a bad plan. Okay, so we have a definite competition for second here. Except I'm in this. I think we're recording. Now that my camera has died and I've switched to my phone, I have to get, I have to find the other battery for this camera. Or get a cable for the mic, one of the two, and now we're just backing into, why not, why bother, right? Milk the time out, yeah, we're not going to get any more money out of it, we'll just do that. Why not? And then watch it crash itself and burn and, uh. And I'm fairly certain this is where I said, yeah, that's, I've had enough of this. That was, naughty, 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 no. See, Omnis. Omnis is a good choice for that track. The GB200 looks like it did pretty well. I did terrible. So, gotta go, guys. Good game, guys. Gotta go. Have a good one. Good game. Yay. Hooray. Ah. And that's the driving thing. You always need more cars, right? You know, it's... Yeah, there's nothing there I want to do. Oh, and here's just a little clip. I was trying to do the whole uh, bailout challenge several times. Just, again, fooling with the Fudo. I figure if I'm going to be excited about the Chebarev here, the... Chebarek, the Chebarek. I'm going to be excited about the Chebarek. I might as well drive the Fudo. I mean, that's a similar experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,
I've already gotten 54.9. There goes the car. This is you. <laughs> this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. <laughs>